We're going to look at this nice aircraft, right? You can see it already on the aircraft itself. It's the station longitude, and we're specifically going to look at how you can manage the speed using the autopilot, right? If you're modifying the option over here, it will change the speed, right? So you can change it here, right, to 290 or to 280, and then it will start automatically increase and decrease the option. But that requires you to select another option, right? Normally you would expect the option here to set the, I would say, auto throttle, like you, uh, for example, the same button as the vertical speed, mostly it's here, or the VNAV or the FLC mode, right? The flight level change mode. And here, of course, is the autopilot mode. Initially I thought, okay, it's probably over here, but in this case, with a CJ, CG4 citation, uh, it's hidden, right? It's hidden over here. So here's the auto throttle option. So if you press it, then it won't use the auto throttle functionality. Uh, but if you press it again, right? So let me let me now decrease it to 270. And uh, you see that the blue arrow moves, right? So the blue arrow moves over here to lower speed. But you can see that the auto throttle doesn't react. So if we now press the auto throttle, you can see that it starts decreasing the speed until it meets the speed over here, which is 270 knots. Right, so really easy option. If you want to use the auto throttle functionality of the CG4 citation, then don't search here, but use this button to set the, I would say, threshold or set the speed, and then use this nice button over here to enable the auto throttle. Here ends the short how-to. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.